Hey, it's Zana. We are back. We are back. We are back, baby. <laughs> I'm in such a weird mood, but we are back filming another episode of Solo Trip Podcast and actually filming the video version too, rather than just audio, because I really did kind of freak out last week and stopped myself from filming the video and had to just pull out my phone and do it that way instead. And I realized like, this whole world is just full of programming so there's gonna be tons of fears that come up and for me it's definitely around creativity and self-expression and like even my music you wouldn't believe the amount of fears and things that I've had to overcome to be able to release music and to be able to sit on camera and even to just be able to tweet or just post some like picture or a quote or a photo it it really had to overcome so many fears to be able to do that. It's kind of ridiculous, really. But I know that this is the level of programming that we've had and we've all handled it differently and all had different upbringings and circumstances and things. So like all of us have our own things that we're dealing with and trying to work through. And mine has definitely been self-belief and confidence and like asserting yourself and standing in your power and all of these things and that's why I probably talk about it so much and way too much sometimes like I'm always saying the phrase we've been programmed mental programming mind control I feel like I literally say these words every day <laughs> but it is the truth you know it is what's happening and for me filming these videos and doing this kind of thing is something that I really really want to do like it's a huge huge passion but at the same time the fear comes up so much because of self-belief and things like that so I have to really talk myself into it and convince myself of why I'm doing this and all of these things you know like it's not for the money because I'm not making any money from it it's not like a weird ego thing or something it's not for attention I'm just doing it because I realize like this is what life is. Life is spiritual, you know? Like we're literally spirit in a vessel. That is what life is. And it seems really cliche and really like commercial and wishy-washy and a bit dumb almost. Like it seems a bit, uh. but I feel like that's just the way society has kind of, I mean, we've been brainwashed to perceive it that way. Let's face it back to the wonderful word of brainwashing and mind control we literally have been manipulated into thinking that these things are stupid or they're not real or they're like a fairy tale kind of thing you know we've actually been conditioned to view it that way because it keeps us out of our power it keeps us out of like disconnected from ourselves and disconnected from the knowledge of what this world is, of who you are, of how powerful you are. It literally keeps you in that fear mental state of like, this is just the way life is. Like, this is just what the world is. The world's just a bit shit. Like, that's just what it is. You know, we literally accept it. We accept that the world is crap and that that's it and that's all that there is and that's, that's just it. Not even that it's okay, but just that's just the way it is. So we just have to accept it, you know? Like, we've literally been brainwashed and programmed into accepting life as a hell place. <laughs> and that's it. We just plod along, you know? So I'm definitely having to overcome these fears of talking about these things because the more normalised that it becomes, and it's definitely heading there, like, so many, so many people are starting to have this conversation and talk about the important things these are so important and it literally transforms your life completely so I don't know why I always feel a bit of shame when it comes to talking about these things and a bit I guess kind of insecure really <laughs> because there's so many opinions out there literally everyone has a fucking opinion and everyone likes to get on their stupid phones and computers and bash other people when really you're just perceiving it at your own perception level. Like you don't actually know what the person's intent is. They may not mean it in the way that you're taking it. So I feel like so many people just run away with things based on their own perception. So it's kind of intimidating to get on here and be vulnerable and talk about these things and share your own experiences and stuff you know so i think that's why i've battled with myself a lot and why i've started filming and then stopped a couple of times and everything like that so yeah but i definitely prefer doing it this way because i feel like 
I can just ramble to myself which is like when I'm in my element, you know? <laughs> so the past week I have been, when I tell you I have been doing shadow work, like we are taking it to the next level now. And I really have been working through core beliefs and having to kind of, I was going to say up my game, but I don't know if that's what I even meant. <laughs> but just, you know, delve in deep to all of these negative emotions and where they stem from and why we hold on to them doing like the real real shadow work you know so this kind of leads on to the question of well where is our power then like wh like what can we do you know is this really just a wishy-washy thing is it really just a like oh you can manifest your ex and you can manifest your dream life and have tons of money and and all of these things you know everything even in the spiritual community everything has in some areas gone more towards the superficial and the material and trying to like manifest abundance on earth but in an egoic kind of way egotistical i don't know egoic is a word I have no idea but anyway in like an egotistical kind of way of really wanting material things and not in a way of like bragging or trying to show off but in a way of like the desire and like the craving to have material things you know like wanting those things to be able to live a luxurious life so I feel like things have kind of definitely in some areas gone a little bit more towards the physical realm like the focus is on the physical the focus is on wanting the perfect relationship the perfect house the perfect car you know even the perfect career and that's still a human thing a career is not a spiritual thing obviously you can implement your spiritual um knowledge and wisdom into it so then you like create a career consciously like you're you're consciously aware of what you're doing and why you're doing it and the intent behind it you know and your purpose but then a normal career the way that we have here is still a part of the human construct because when you leave this vessel you don't have a career it doesn't exist so it's definitely like it's an earthly realm kind of thing you know so to even want to create a career is still on a human level you know until you start to uh, I can't think of the words that I'm trying to say I feel like I need to read a dictionary <laughs> not a dictionary a thesaurus I feel like I need a thesaurus to try and like expand my vocabulary oh my god like I literally can't speak I need to expand my vocabulary right now this is what happens when I get a bit like nervous and when I first start these videos I start stumbling on words and then not even knowing what word I'm trying to say and then I feel like I'm rushing what I'm saying. <laughs> so I'm literally doing shadow work right now while I'm on camera to you because it makes you have to get comfortable with yourself and it brings up all of these things and I think that's why I keep running from it and stopping you know and not filming because it's like oh my god it makes you feel so uncomfortable but then once you get past it and you let go of that fear and you let go of worrying what people will think and you just relax then what you're trying to say starts to come out and it starts to flow naturally you know and then you have like little downloads of extra things that you hadn't even thought of before so yeah this is me talking myself into relaxation right now <laughs> so yeah anyway back to the topic of where is our power and this is me trying to fucking find my power right now <laughs> And it's really uncomfortable so I'm sorry if this is a little bit awkward but you're just gonna have to roll with it with me and as we go we will get better and it will be easier and everything like that <laughs> so yes where is our power and the way that they have manipulated us into believing that we don't have any power like full-on manipulated us into believing that we need to work that we need to just like that life is literally to get married to have children to buy a house to impress our friends and and like get the approval of our family and friends and impress them all and earn a like good amount of money and gain material possessions you know like that is what we've literally been conditioned into believing is what this life is and is the purpose of this life 
you know and for a long time that's what I thought and I kept having this craving for more like I wanted more but I didn't know what it was and there was a time when I thought that it was career I thought like I can't get married until I have a career I can't have kids until I have a career like I need to have a career and I need to have money and I need to be able to move out of my parents house like I need to have all of these things in order perfectly before I can do anything else I can't go on holiday because I haven't got my career like that is literally the mindset I had for years for absolute years <laughs> and it's really like ridiculous when I think about it now because what does that even mean you know like what does a career even mean where is the line drawn like where would I have been satisfied enough to then take a holiday like what would that have even needed to look like you know would I have just got a job would I have needed to have like a promotion would I have needed to be earning a specific amount of money? You know what I mean? Like, would I have been renting a, a flat or renting a house? Or would I have needed a mortgage before I could take a holiday? Like, where's the line drawn? You know, it doesn't really make sense and it's just unrealistic. And putting your happiness in the future instead of in the present, you know? And we've really been conditioned to do this because I wasn't born feeling that way. Like, it's not a concept as a baby of like, oh my God, when you're a baby, you're not laying there thinking that you need a holiday or that you need a career before you can take a holiday, you know, like that doesn't, it just doesn't, you don't even think that you need a holiday. Literally, when you're a child, you're not thinking about, oh my God, I need to escape my life and I need to go on holiday so that I can have a break from this world. Like, that just doesn't come into your mind. That's not a thing, you know, we're taught that as we grow up because we witness our parents and our family and other people around us all doing those things, all being like, oh my God, I can't wait for a holiday. I'm so desperate for a holiday. And then you go and you watch TV and people are talking about their holidays, you know, like TV shows and stuff, even reality TV, even soaps and like fiction based TV programs. They're called program for a reason because it programs you. So they are, even on those shows, they could be talking about going on holiday. And then that embeds that concept into your mind because you're watching them, even when they're acting, like it feels real. So even when they're acting and they're talking about something, it literally instills that that concept, that idea and that belief into you. So like when you watch a, a TV show and they're, it's a couple interacting with each other, that then instills into you you know, the concept of, of how you should interact with other people, how how a relationship should look like, all of these kind of things. And I spoke about it a little bit in my last video, talking about films and stuff. So I won't go too in depth in this one about films, because I've already done that. And I will get carried away. <laughs> and my mind will run a mile an hour. But um, I just think that that is like the main place that they program us, you know, Apart from the fact that you've got your family and your friends around you, obviously you have that kind of programming. But then the main one where these so-called people in power have the ability to program us is through the TV, through the media, through all of these things that we watch and consume. Because there's no other way for, us to pro for them to program us. Like, where would you see it? Where would you hear it? You know? and it's the TV, like they attack the senses, the five senses, it's the TV, it's the phone, now it's the phone, you know, so they know exactly what they're doing, and they do this with the media so much, I can't even begin to tell you, and that's why I don't watch the news anymore, sometimes even when I um, scroll through like the trending thingy, the trending page on Twitter, I'm just like, oh lord, why did I look at this, <laughs> because it's just full of it, you know, like absolutely full of it. And one example, and I can't remember who said this example. It might have been Brother Panic, but I'm not sure. But somebody said it and it stuck with me and I'm like, oh damn. Yeah, like it fully explains and reveals to you the ways of which they program us. So like, say for example, you see on the news and there's a murder has happened, right? and some some guy or somebody has killed somebody else and you see like the family of the victim that has passed away and like 
the emotion that that triggers in you when you hear the story of somebody taking somebody else's life and it was like a vicious attack or, or something like that and the victim really didn't deserve it like it was a really sad thing and now you feel for the family you feel for the victim like you can fully empathize with them especially because you could be like oh my god what if that happened to my family like what if that happened to somebody that I know you know so like in that instance you feel sympathy and sadness and pain for the victim and then you feel anger and like hatred and frustration towards the person that did it but then if you saw another story where like it was somebody in the army and they took out a whole group of people that were terrorists you wouldn't feel the same emotions towards these people like you might even feel proud of the person that's in the army that did this even though they killed people but because of the circumstance because of the story the narrative that the news the media has given you behind what has happened you literally would feel like you're cheering the person for killing these people even though they're people with families but because they've told you that these people are terrorists you now think that they're evil and they deserved it and they're awful people you know so like that literally shows that the story behind the circumstance is what tells you like that's what triggers your specific emotion is the story is the narrative you know so like they control the story that's what they do with the news that's what they do with the types of films that come out the types of tv shows that they allow to be on tv the types of videos that go everywhere that go viral and all of this kind of stuff you know like do you really think that they would let anything go anywhere if they didn't want it to you know like the type of technology that we have now and they only reveal a small amount of shit that they're up to like there's no way that they would let certain things be public if they didn't want it to be you know especially with the fucking mandela effect like they're literally manipulating reality right now <laughs> so you know the level of shit that they're capable of is crazy and then that also brings back to where's our power like they're, if they're doing all of these things, if they're manipulating the media, they're controlling the narrative, which then controls how we feel. And then that controls how we then carry ourselves, how we interact with society, how we feel about ourselves, how we feel about everybody else, you know, and that's how they, they manipulate racism and things like this, because they can control that narrative and they can create the story to get the specific reaction that they want to get us fighting each other to get to get us as like divided you know they completely managed to separate us continuously and they know exactly what they're doing with that they love to be able to separate us and to it's like divide and conquer completely divide and conquer and that's what they've done through tv shows through the media through the films through all of these things and they're kind of succeeding at it but then at the same time the amount of knowledge that is out there now where we're starting to be aware of the fact that they do that especially because i feel like a lot of young people like our generation and even the younger generation coming up are raised and more aware of social media and things so like they're more aware of advertising and how it works and more aware of especially with the era of influencers like we're more aware of the fact that certain things are manipulated and created and like false stories are created in order to sell a product you know so like when we're aware of that then you can kind of understand how they do the same thing with things that happen in the news that haven't necessarily happened really but they've manipulated the way they tell it so you then feel a certain type of way towards it when it's not actually that that's even happened you know so like it's kind of like advertising it's all just manipulation and it's all a part of mind control and obviously a bigger agenda which then instills the idea that we need to have a career and get married and have kids and work 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 <laughs> i could break out into a fucking rihanna song right now but literally like that's kind of the main narrative and you see that narrative everywhere like every single TV show that you watch talks about relationships, talks about career and business, talks about 
your house and your home life and your lifestyle. Like it all portrays the exact same lifestyle. You know, no matter how much money someone has, they're still talking about it. So like you get TV shows that talk about people that are on benefits and all of these things, but it's still about their lifestyle. It's still about money and how much money they have, how little they have, how much they're manipulating the system, you know, taking advantage kind of thing, or whether they're absolutely rich in a mansion, living their best life, they're still showing you their lifestyle. So all of it is just portraying a way of life and that way of life, no matter how much money you have or how little money you have, is still human. It's still a human concept. It's still a physical thing of a physical object. It's still a human idea, you know? It's like literally social engineering as well because it's engineering us to interact with each other in a certain way and to care about the same kind of things you know so I just think it's really kind of fucked up and I wanted to talk about it because when you know all of this stuff and you know that that's what they're doing it's like well how do we leave it then how do we like how do we stop that from having so much power over us how do we change the narrative because at the end of the day it's the narrative that they're changing so the way to exit it is to change the narrative but then how do you do that when you're surrounded by constant mind control because the TV and the phone is everywhere. So you're surrounded by that. But then also you've got your friends and family that are still buying into it. You know, they're still believing the mind control that they're being fed. So it's like, how do you exit it? Especially if you're doing it on your own or especially if you're like in certain circumstances where it's a lot harder or where you're really having to survive, you know, like if you've not got much money, which is why they manipulate for a certain minority to have that kind of lifestyle. Like they want those people to have less, less access to resources, less money, less everything, you know, that's why they do that on purpose. But at the end of the day, everyone is still in that same kind of boat, but they just make it worse for other people you know obviously I'm talking about like race and not just race but like gender sexual orientation like they divide us in so many fucking ways with so many labels you know but all of those things play a role and they attack each thing kind of in the same way but then in different ways at the same time if that makes sense I hope this makes sense <laughs> but yeah so I just think like this world has been manipulated like every single one of us and we've believed what we're being told and our parents have believed what they were told and then our grandparents have believed what they were told and it's been going on for so so long and we are stepping into the age of Aquarius and out of the iron age you know so like we are starting to level up the frequency on this earth is raising like it really is raising and all of the information is there for us to find. So that's another reason why I have to talk myself into doing these videos, because it's like, it's not just about me, it's about all of us, it's about everyone. If all of us were to talk about the journey that we're on, the lessons that we're learning, the things that we've discovered, you know, like the information that we now understand that we didn't understand before, if we all were to do our part and share that, like things would change so quickly so so quickly you know and it's so powerful and more and more people are doing it you know like me for instance and tons of people that I watch there's so many spiritual teachers that I look to and like hear their thoughts on certain things but at the end of the day it does come back to yourself it definitely comes back to yourself but we are all a part of the same collective consciousness so I think it's really powerful to be able to like look at what somebody else shares but still interpret it from your own being you know like your own knowing so like you take what you need you take what you wanted to hear and then you leave the rest without bashing them without insulting them without attacking them for having like a slightly different perspective to you you just take what resonated and you leave what don't you know so i have some like notes written down because i know that I forget everything and then I sit there like did I cover everything did I say everything that I wanted to say so I decided to just make some notes make sure that I actually got everything that I wanted to say so then I don't panic about this video and feel like I've just 
rambled and talked about absolutely nothing. <laughs> oh gosh, I swear. So yeah, everything is just very, very separated and very based in lack and based in fear and based in like, even things like the law of attraction, which is a real thing, but the way that it's been like expressed and formed, the way it's been constructed is to say like, I don't know, I feel like it's kind of pushing this agenda of like, let's manifest, but everyone's obviously trying to manifest human shit. So it's like, it's still based in lack of, I don't have the perfect relationship, so let me try and manifest it, you know? My camera cut off and I don't know how zoomed in it was, so it may be a completely different angle. My bad. But anyway, what was I saying? So, yes, um, they kind of make it seem like you, when you lack something, you then need to manifest it. So you need to manifest it by focusing on it intensely and by trying to get all of these things that may not even benefit you. No, bleh, that may not even benefit you. So it's like, it's still keeping you in lack and it's still keeping you in fear because then you get frustrated when it doesn't happen. You know, like when you've tried really hard to manifest this thing and then you're like, oh my God, it's still not coming. Like what's going on? You know, so like it still keeps you in fear and it still keeps you in lack. So it is really still a part of the mind control and a part of the agenda of keeping us separated and keeping us in fear, like feeling inferior to this world, feeling like we have no power, feeling like we're not, not abundant when we naturally are, like your natural state of being is not this vessel. So you are literally abundance because you're a part of the all, you're a part of all that there is. So how could you ever be anything less than, you know? And when I say power, when I say, what is our power? Where is our power? I mean the power to create what you want, like literally to manifest, but to actually create it. Like where is our power to shape our lives in the way that we want them to be shaped rather than the way that we're fed and forced and coerced into believing that it should be or that it just is so like where is our power when it comes down to this because they don't tell you about all of the things that would benefit you they only even in school they only tell you the things that they want you to know in fact they lie and obviously the teachers don't know that this is lies they're just going off of the curriculum that they're given and that they're told to teach but above that like the people the one percent the control of the money that own the money that own the water that own the electricity that literally own everything those people control the types of education that we get the, the information that we're given you know they don't tell you about diet they don't tell you about frequency and how everything runs on vibration everything vibrates everything is in motion everything moves they don't tell you that you know, they don't tell you about these science experiments that they've actually done that have proven this. They don't give you that information anywhere. Not anywhere. You don't see that in the news when the scientists discover this shit. <laughs> like, they don't give it to you. You have to discover it for yourself on YouTube when these random people are telling it, you know. But it's not like famously huge people that have a platform. It's other people that are like underground that are barely noticed or barely seen that you click on their videos randomly and you discover this information, you know? So like, they don't tell you about sunlight and how it actually upgrades your DNA and actually provides downloads into your DNA. They don't tell you this. They want you to stay away from the sun because it causes cancer and because it does all of these negative things to you and it ages your vessel and all of this shit, you know? <laughs> and while some of that may be true, so does chemo cause cancer, yet they give it to you. Because they're literally pumping your body with acid when cancer is acid. So how is acid going to cure acid? It's not. But they don't tell you this because they don't want you to know this information. They don't tell you about how nature, being out in nature, being in the sun, you know, and changing your diet would help you feel less depressed. But they don't want you to know this information. And then when you do find out this information, you feel like it's false or you feel like it's stupid and unrealistic and ridiculous because you've been led to believe that medication and chemical based pills would cure it. And that's the only way to cure it. Like you've been led to believe and coerced into thinking that 
these fucking pharmaceutical manufactured like i'm gonna go on a full-blown rant and start swearing my head off right now so let me just calm down but these companies are the cure to everything when they actually created it in the first place they actually caused it in the first place but we're manipulated into thinking that they are the cure you know like i think it was brother panic who said that they literally create the problem and then they come up with this amazing solution and then they look like the good guys because they've solved the problem when actually they caused it in the first place like when you think about it and the type of things that they do the things that they've caused that they then create a solution for it is ridiculous the level of effort and like extreme measures they have to go to to control the collective and when you think about it like why what do they even gain out of it what do, like yeah you can control some people but what for what do they really get out of it apart from some money but what does money do because they made the money in the first place they literally created it you know they own the central bank the whole system of all of the countries so it's like if they did that then what do they really get out of controlling us you know and so that then leads it back to the fact that everything is energy because they're feeding off of our energy not just physical things the whole world is energy the whole world is frequency and they feed off of that when they have you vibrating in fear that is such a low dense frequency that they then can utilize that you know they can use that and transmute that for their own personal gain to be honest i don't really understand why <laughs> i'm just putting that out there i don't really get what the hell they can achieve from that but maybe that's just me because obviously having experienced being in fear for so long i'm like Ugh, it's such a horrible state of mind to be in so i don't really get the full spectrum of like the benefits of what the fuck they get from manipulating people you know because at the end of the day they're gonna die at some point and i know that they could easily reincarnate back into their offsprings vessels you know like they can continue on that generation but i still don't get it i still think it's ridiculous you know but then that in itself is also another distraction because we could spend forever and ever and ever trying to understand them and what they're doing and why they're doing it and what they gain from it but that still takes away from you it still takes away from your power your ability to be your abundance to create heaven on earth for you and i'm not talking about just material things but like your ability to have your own inner peace and to experience love to the fullest capacity you know like if you're focused on all of them and even focused on people in your environment people in your life whenever you're focused on this shit whenever you're focused on the negative things that happen in the world like it's distracting you and taking away from what you could be doing and your true power and your actual purpose because when you think about it right you incarnated here into a hellhole which was your choice knowing that these people have created a system that's based on a lie so like you already know that that system exists that it's a complete lie that it's completely separated the whole collective that's already here in vessels completely separated them away from who they truly are so like if you already know this and then you know that you're going to be falling under amnesia and completely forgetting about where you've just come from you know like completely forgetting because you're now in a vessel you've now got parents you're now in certain circumstances in a certain country and all of this stuff so like if you already know this why would we choose to come here like that shows you that there's a greater purpose than the construct that these handful of people have created you know like that literally proves it instantly without even going into anything else because why would you choose to come here and experience this system that they've created so like what is our purpose why would we come here what did we come here for you know and it's not for the system based things that they've created yeah of course we can experience getting married if you wanted to like experience relationships with each other because we are here experiencing ourselves 
through other people, you know, because they all reflect you, they show you and reveal to you different aspects of your own subconscious mind. So like, we're experiencing these connections and we get to experience fun things, you know, like going to different places and laughing and joking and experiencing joy. So obviously, you could say that a part of that is still mixed into the system, but then at the same time, it's not because those are higher frequencies. You know, joy is a high frequency compared to fear. So like, what is our purpose? Why would we come here into this reality? And from everything that I'm learning, and obviously I'm still at the beginning of my journey, like I by no means know everything at all and I don't claim to, but like for me, what I am starting to feel like is that our purpose really is the journey of being born into the system, but then having to remember who the fuck we are. Like, having to remember, holy shit, this is all a lie. Like, these people have had power for too long. Wow, look at what they're doing. Oh my God, I remember now. And then it's like the journey of raising that vibration, raising your frequency by yourself because nobody else can do it for you. You raise your own vibration back up to joy and love and inner peace and freedom and things and I know that sounds really cliche and a bit like wishy-washy and stuff but that that really is the purpose because that's your natural state of being anyway your natural state of being is far beyond these human emotions that we can feel and it's definitely definitely far beyond shame and guilt and fear and all of these lower densities like it's far beyond those so for me the reason why I would ever, this is what I'm feeling right now, it may change, I don't know, but what I'm feeling right now is like the reason why I would ever choose to come here and experience this is for the exact purpose that I am sitting here on camera right now, is literally doing the shadow work, raising my vibration, talking about everything that I've uncovered, learning about the true history and what actually happened and why it happened and like why we've fallen to such a low frequency collectively, really understanding how this happened, how these people got in power in the first place, you know, like how all of this happened, what we are, why we're here, and then doing the work to get back there. So then when I leave this planet, plane, whatever you want to call it, when I then leave Earth, I don't feel the need to come back here and experience it again because I've learned everything that I need to learn. So then I can go somewhere where there is no fuckery like these people like to do and I can just experience the higher frequencies continuously and not have to come back to this hellhole and learn horrific lessons through suffering, you know? Because at the end of the day, I feel like this planet, this plane is called the prison planet for a reason because it really is like, this is the hell. I've said this before in another video, like this is hell. I don't know what other place could be so horrific, but this place where people are tortured, people are killed, people are absolutely awful to each other. So for me, this is the idea of hell and I'm trying to walk the path and um, I think maybe you are too, the fact that you're watching this video, like we're walking this path of trying to raise ourselves out of it, you know? And I think that's what this experience is. And that is where our power lies, is like realizing who we are. That's our power. Because once you realize I'm not this vessel, this life is just one lifetime. There are many different dimensions, many different planes of existence, many different solar systems, you know, many different universes. So like of all the places that you could have gone to, you've come to here, you know, and that's for a reason, that's a purpose. And the fact that this was even an option shows how powerful you really are, how powerful your true essence is, you know, the fact that you are a part of the all, all that there is in existence, the fact that we all come from that just shows that you are so, so much more powerful than you believe and so much more powerful than they let us believe or they tell us that we are, you know? And when you start to understand that, I feel like life gets a lot more, I wanna say simpler, but not really simpler. I guess it kind of is because you're able to perceive it higher. Like there's less fear 
less attachment to the negative shit that happens to you, less victim mode and feeling like the world is against you when it's not like you chose to come here. You chose to experience this right now in this very moment. You chose to come here. You chose your vessel. You chose your parents. You chose your experiences. And I know that that can be kind of hard for people to comprehend, especially if maybe their parents aren't very nice or maybe something toxic happened or maybe they lost a parent. I know that that can be kind of difficult to believe or buy into because it kind of puts responsibility on you. And obviously that's not really what I'm saying because they would have served their purpose for a reason too. Like they would have chosen to become and be the type of person that they are here, you know? And they may well have chosen a path where they stay asleep and be toxic in order to show you for your purpose. Like this is a soul agreement and a soul contract. It then reveals to you who you are and who you need to be. You know, like if your purpose was to stay asleep, then you may not have had parents that were that toxic. Like everything happens for a reason and it was necessary for them to play that role, no matter how awful it was. But the point is that when you realize your power, it means that you don't have to stay in those cycles of toxic behavior, whether it's you being toxic or somebody else. It means that you can change it. You can remove yourself from it. You can elevate yourself to be the best version of you, you know? And the best version of you is not limited to a vessel. The best version of you is God is what we call God, is source, is the universe, is your higher self, is your ancestors, is your spirit guides. All of these words mean the same thing because it's all a part of the same thing, which is all that there is, you know? So you really are a part of that and you chose this life for a reason and it's far more powerful than you think and it's for a much bigger purpose than to earn money you know, or than to get bitches and have a good time, you know, like, it's way more powerful than that. And yeah, we can experience these human things. And yeah, we can get sucked into little traps. And we can believe that money's more powerful than us and all of these things. It's so easy to do. And it's a part of this experience. So if it happens, there's no reason to beat yourself up for it, because it's clearly a part of your path and a part of your path of awakening, you know, even the people that came here to stay asleep, there's going to come a point where they need to wake up, you know, but it will happen when they're ready, when it's their time, when they're supposed to. So we can't force other people, but even them being asleep is serving a purpose and it's leading to their awakening no matter how long it takes. So yeah, I just think that our power is just so huge and like trying to comprehend that can seem really weird and really like unrealistic but once you grasp it and you realize you're more than this world you know you're more than this life then you can look towards your purpose of why you would choose to come here what you want to experience and how you want to go about it you know how much joy you want to feel in your life how much love you want to feel you know how little like less often you want to feel fear and the only way to feel that emotion less because we are programmed with with stories that instill that belief into us all the time so the way to like counteract that is to do the shadow work is to understand what your core beliefs are right now and then be able to change them you know it really is a journey of the self and a journey of awakening out of this system that we've been born into but that you chose. And like when you remember that you chose it, that is your power. This place is not attacking you. This place is not against you. This place is not bigger than you. It's not more powerful than you. These handful of people have no more power than you at all. That's why they have to go to the extremes that they do. That's why they have to create such mind control because there's no other way for them to have power over you. They can't, they can physically chain you down but they know that if they get control of your mind, they don't need to chain you down because they know that they can get you to do what they want you to do by controlling your mind. That's way more powerful than putting you in chains because if, if they put you in physical chains but they don't have control of your mind, you're going to rebel. You're going to riot. There's going to be uproar. You're going to try and literally force your way out of these chains. You're going to try and destroy them. You're going to try and break them. And if you were to free yourself from those 
those chains, you would most likely go and kill these people. Like you would go and completely destroy them. But they've managed to manipulate the entire collective without chains. Of course they have like, they have done certain fucked up things like slavery and the Holocaust and all these kind of things. But I mean like the entire collective, even right now, they have managed to cage so many people without physical cages. And it's because they've controlled their mind. They've managed to get an entire world to believe that they need to go and work to earn a piece of paper. Like they've literally managed to get us to believe that. So once you break that cycle and break that belief system that they've instilled into you, then you free yourself from the mental cage that they've put us in, you know, then you free yourself and then you take control of your life and you shape it how you want to, how you're kept, like fully capable of, then you use things like the law of attraction, but from an empowered God frequency type of state of being, from that type of mindset, rather than lack, rather than feeling like the world is against you, rather than feeling like money and the thing that you want is completely separate and that you need to focus on it in order to get it. Like that's not how you do it. And that's the worst kind of mindset to try and do it because that's going to keep it away from you, completely keep it away from you. And I'll probably do a video on manifestation and stuff, but I want to like really elevate my own mind first before I start talking about how to do that and that kind of thing. But I'm definitely learning how to do it. And I know that it is about vibrating on the same frequency that the thing that you want is on, you know? not being in lack because when you're in lack and you're in fear you are not vibrating on the frequency of your dream career like let's face it that is not the frequency that it would be on so yeah it's just a full-blown journey of detaching from the system and uncovering who you are you know and that's why I am doing these videos and that's why it's important for us to talk about it because when you realize that when you realize what that concept is it's like holy shit that's huge huge because it goes beyond this human construct it goes beyond career and household and all of these things it's much bigger than that you know so yeah I could do a podcast talking about how to like talking about all of the material things that I have or don't have or talking about relationships and like you know I could talk about all of these human things and maybe I will go into some of the things at some point but like this is much bigger than that it's much bigger than that. It's much more powerful than that. And it's about who you are. So again, this is me kind of trying to talk myself out of the shame of sitting here talking about these topics because that program belief has been instilled in us in so much that we even fear to share this knowledge. We even fear to sit there and talk about it because we don't know how other people will take it, how they'll react, whether they'll think we're crazy, whether they'll think we're naive and stupid, you know, I've had all of these kind of perceptions thrown at me and projections thrown at me, but it's like, this is the purpose. This is why we're here, literally, is this journey. So let's talk about this journey and let's do it together because we are connected. We are one with the all. That means that you and me are connected. You know, we can tap into the same consciousness of information, you know, so yeah anyway <laughs> I don't know how long this video was so I feel like I'm gonna leave it there but I hope this kind of maybe helped you see who you are from a different light you know and see how important this journey is and this journey is your purpose and then you can integrate the abundance of money and like how you gain money and how your relationships feel and the types of relationships you have, then you can kind of inter integrate that into your purpose. But the ultimate work is setting your frequency, is setting your mind where you want it to be, is focusing on the things that you do want and allowing the negative emotions to flow through you, to cry it out when you need to, you know, like to feel all of these things and just be who you are and just bask in your full spectrum of every emotion and the full like essence and magnificence of who you actually are, you know? No more buying into their bullshit. So yes, I'm gonna go and eat now because I am kind of hungry. <laughs> but thank you so much for listening and watching. It really does mean the world to me. 
because I really am working through so many fears and I know I keep saying it, but like I have to really talk myself through it. So I'm so grateful to everyone that watches and comments and everything and definitely leaves me feedback and I want to hear like your perspective on everything that I'm talking about as well. So you can go to the YouTube video of this episode and leave comments about how you feel and your perspective on this world and who we are and all of the fuckery that goes on. Like, I want to know what you think, you know, because then we can share ideas and we can help each other and like work through this together, you know, because it, it is difficult. It is a difficult path and it is um, almost intimidating and like kind of difficult to put yourself out there. So I feel like I just want to connect with more people that are doing the same thing you know and let's just share our experiences and share the things that we've learned so then we can help each other and we can get the hell out of this place much sooner you know let's help raise the collective frequency because everyone that does this everyone that's walking this path it matters it affects the frequency of the entire planet you know so yeah but all of my links to my social media and everything will be down below and yeah you can come say hi on there as well you can dm me on instagram or twitter if you would rather like speak privately i'm always talking to people on there as well so yeah and all my links to my music will also be down below so thank you so much for listening and watching and i will see you in next week's episode bye Pull it down.